Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back. I know, I know, I didn't post in one or two weeks, but work was crazy. I mean, crazy. So I'm really sorry for that, but now I'm back with this massive, massive perfume haul. So, before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, let's start. I'm gonna split this haul in three parts. Just because it's just it's just way too much. Like you know me, I like to talk about each perfume. I like to tell you about the notes, uh, sillage, longevity, and things like that. And one video is gonna be like two hours, so I'm gonna split this in three parts. So for the first part, let's start with actually a body mist that was super hyped up here on YouTube. Um, Anna from Anna Absolute, she talked about this one. I was like, okay, okay, I want to try that. And then a subscriber um, told me in the comments that she had the perfume version and she told me that the perfume and the body mist they smell basically the same. So I said, okay, fine, I'm gonna try the body mist. This one is from Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush. This is the 90 ml, I believe, and this one retails for like 18 pounds, so it's super inexpensive. This has notes of caramel, pistachio, vanilla, almond, salt, sandalwood. What I can tell you, look at that sprayer. It's just gorgeous. I love this. It smells like almond. I don't really get pistachio, but I smell like almond, vanilla, caramel. It's weird because it's more like a gourmand but it's so appropriate for the summer i mean if you don't like um sand and lotion perfumes and you still want something more gourmand this one is just longevity is like two maybe three hours which for a body mist that it's uh 18 pounds for a 90, 90 ml i'm like yep yep please. I know that the perfume smells the same. I didn't smell it but this is what everyone is saying and they kind of last the same and that one is like 70-80 pounds. I'm like no thank you. I'm gonna stick with the body mist. So yeah. This this is just gorgeous. It doesn't it's it's not an actual perfume. Perfume of course it's a, a body mist but it doesn't smell like a cheap body mist. It smells good. It smells like really good it's nutty and creamy and sweet and perfect for the summer i love this thing so yeah this one i totally love sol de janeiro brazilian crush and because i got this one i saw that they have another one so i said okay let me check that one out so this is coco cabana um i got just a 30 mil because it was a, like a gift set I thought that these are gonna be bigger, they're not, so I will just stick with the 90 mil from now on, but yeah. These guys, this one I know that they released I think in 2018 or 2019 and right after they released they reformulated this one because the previous version smelled like popcorn. And some people were complaining that the popcorn note is just way too much and they reformulated and now they added some... Um, orchid in it. So this one has coconut, orchid, praline, vanilla and sandalwood. I'm pretty sure this is the reformulation but you can still smell the popcorn but it's just not that intense. I hope, I hope this is the reformulation because I love it. This I actually like this one more than this one. I really like this but this one is just oh my god. It smells like coconut, but like sweet, creamy coconut, and it has a hint of popcorn. It's just amazing. Again, if you want um, a gourmand for the summer time, especially for the beach, this is just... I love this thing. And the body lotion, oh, this is even better. In my opinion but they are both just mixed together they are just gosh I love this thing I love 
this thing definitely i'm gonna purchase a bigger bottle because i'm gonna use this one again uh, longevity siage like longevity like three hours oh siage for both of them it's it's good like i can smell it from here it, it's good it's not wow but it's a body mist so yeah really like this one coco cabana by sol de janeiro amazing perfect for the summer so yeah next we have <clears throat> i actually got this one this so this is vani monoi Le, i'm gonna watch this one i'm sorry le petit plaisir plaisir i'm sorry so um this one has just two notes i'm not gonna spray this one i got this on depop you can find also on amazon it's super inexpensive it's 110 ml this bottle this has just two notes vanilla and tiare flower i've never smelled tiare before like never so i had no idea how that one smells but for me it gives me Givenchy Organza vibes. It's one note in there that I actually really don't like and that's Gardenia. Please tell me in the comments if Tiara flower smells like Gardenia. I have no idea how they smell. Like I actually don't know. But for me this one gives me um, Organza by Givenchy and that's why I don't like it. It's very sweet floral. It's just like one flower and then you add some vanilla on top i don't like this one i tried to make this one work it was super if you like for super inexpensive but if you like um tiare flower and vanilla this is gonna be like amazing for you but no i don't like this i'm not gonna spray it because it makes me it actually makes me sick i sprayed this one twice and no oh we're gonna see we're gonna see because I don't like to have perfumes that are not my type in my collection. Like I already got rid of some so many perfumes and now another one like no I, I don't like this one. But yeah, if you like tiare, if you like vanilla more like if you like tiare because I love vanilla. Um you can check this one out. So Vani Monoi Ba Le Pati oh, I'm I'm not gonna try. Here we go. Yeah, next we have something that i thought i will never buy just because of the packaging so this is moschino cheap and chic i love love basically again anna from an absolute she hold this one a while ago and i was like no mm -mm, no i don't want that it it sounds good but i don't want that just because of the packaging I know, I know it's cute, like it's very childish, it's very, but I, I don't like things like this, I, I don't, I don't, I like just simple packaging, just simple, plain, I don't like things like this, but anyway, so I said, okay, the scent sounds nice, but no, then Maria from It's MJ, hold this one, and she loved it, and she also got this one because of Anna, and I said, okay, fine. I'm gonna get it. so this one has mandarin orange lemon grapes musk cedar and sugar as main notes and this I love it people were comparing this one with light blue just the original from Dolce & Cabana I can see that but this one in the opening has this strong mandarin not mandarin, grape, has a, has grapes in the opening. And actually the grape stays there until uh, the dry down. So for me, it doesn't really smell like the original light blue. It's more like a mix between light blue and light blue intense with some grapes on top, which I really, really like. Yeah, this is a little bit more fresh than light blue intense. That one in the dry down gets a little bit like woody. This one, just remains fresh but I really like this one Siage is good I mean like good longevity it's good I wasn't expecting that because I paid this is a 100ml and I paid 20 pounds for this so yeah 
still don't like the bottle no but the scent yes yes if you want something similar to light blue but better than the original one check this one out yeah it's good i like it yes 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 next so if you are from uk you of course know the store boots and you know that they are selling this uh, brand soap and glory they have like soaps of course uh, body lotions and things like that so we i got this set from boots was 10 pounds with three body mess that was a box finally i can throw that away um, and i got in the set original pink missed you madly i draw things again missed you madly and frutigo never smell them i like their body products so i said okay fine so this one is original these are guys individually they are like five six pounds so yeah and it's 100 ml. so this is original pink just look at the sprayer i mean it's five pounds how good is that for five pounds this smells like a mix between expensive hairspray and expensive um body wash so yeah it smells clean not the biggest fan it's not my favorite but it's good it's all right um i'm not gonna go into details and no, all just if you want to check them out they're in boots they're also online i told you five six pounds for one 100 ml why not but this one eh, not really then we have frutigo this one this smells like um sour citruses or like a, a citrus body wash again i think it's very refreshing for the heat and if you don't want to spend the money on an actually summer perfume but you want something more like appropriate for the summer i think this one is good but it's quite soury yeah it smells like a body wash a citrus body wash it's not bad it's not bad it's okay and then we have miss you madly this is my favorite i can smell the other two now this this again has a little bit of a hairspray but it's more like floral yeah like sweet something sweet with some flowers in it a little bit of citrus and hairspray this one is more is the is my favorite and is the most um i don't know perfumey let's say that actually kind of smells like a perfume this two smells like body wash and hairspray this one has more like that perfume quality so i like this one uh for the price again why not next and the last two i actually spoke about these ones before i had minis and i said i'm gonna buy the entire entire bottle so crystal noir by versace the edt version i got just a 50 ml i don't understand wait one second i don't understand why they're doing this so the 30 ml i want just a 30 ml but the bottle just looked terrible because they make this so small and then this cap is still huge i mean why for a mini you were able to do this okay so it's gonna look nice it's proportional right but then for the 50 minute you do this like it looks so ugly the 100 ml bottle it's so nice and then this is anyway and this is heavy and like what i'm supposed to do with this just look how big the difference is anyway let's move on this like i said i really like this one this is um love or hate so you have to smell this one appropriate for the summer nights in my opinion a cold perfume uh, it's not like a cozy inviting it's like no stay away from me i'm good i smell good bye that vibe so this one has coconut it has ginger it has pepper i can smell the ginger but it doesn't bother me 
I said before, lasting power for me it's good. It's actually it's like five six hours for an EDT. That's perfect. Siage is very good. So yeah, really happy that I got this one. Not so happy that I got the last one. Eros EDT. Why not so happy? Because this doesn't smell like the mini, and I don't get why. Maybe you can tell me because. I basically got just a 30 mil and thanks god I got just a 30 mil when I got the mini I said yes I like it it reminds me a little bit of light blue intense but this one has this gummy bear opening it's more like fruity it's sweet it's nice this so the notes lemon raspberry white currant mandarin orange and orange blossom as main notes this I don't think it's a bad perfume I don't think that the juice inside went bad. I don't think it's a fake perfume because I got this one from where I usually get my perfumes. But I think it's a reformulation or something. Did they reformulate this one? Please tell me if you know because this smells amazing. This, it's super intense. And like every single note is more intense and the entire mix gives me a pumpkin vibe. I smell pumpkin and citrus. I'm like, why? At first I thought it's just my skin. Then I tried on paper and I tried both of them on paper and on my skin. And this one smells refreshing and sweet and citrusy and fruity. And this one smells like citrus and pumpkin. I'm like, what? So yeah, this, I know. I know. Did I reformulate this one? Or is this one bad? Like, I got a bad perfume or... What happened here? Please tell me if you know, if you have any explanation for me because I'm just like, what? They don't smell the same. They don't smell the same. Yes, this, they smell similar, but this one is way more intense and it smells like pumpkin. And I don't want to smell like pumpkin, so yeah. Guys, I'm going to stop this video here. We're going to continue in my next one, in the part two, which I think is going to be huge. It's gonna be a long video because I can see how many perfumes I have left. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.